What's going on, E Nation Army? This is the Impress 1227 here. Welcome back to yet another diecast review. Guess what? Another Hot Wheels diecast review. But guess what? A few days ago at Target, I was in the toy aisle, looked for diecast as usual. What do I not? And there was a new Hot Wheels diecast. Well, I'm waiting for other new Hot Wheels racing diecasts that are coming soon, like the. Uh, like some of the IMSA ones, the Lotus Type 49, the Roxy, the Mazda 787B. While I'm waiting for those, hopefully it'll come out soon. There was this new Hot Wheels diecast that I saw on the pegs. And it was the only one. And boom. This is the uh, Formula E Gen 3 2024. I believe 2024. Yeah, this is the 2024 Formula E Gen 3. And, of course, like, Formula E changes their car design once every four years because this is a third-generation car now. Um, yeah, they, this was, like, out recently, not too long ago. And, of course, as soon as I saw it, I had to get it. So, yeah, let's go over the box. We got Hot Wheels, got the artwork of the Formula E Gen 3 car, Formula E Gen 3, Mattel, 3 Plus, Hot Wheels Race Day, 9 out of 10, all the other informations and here are some stuff at the back nothing special besides formula e logo right there and other stuff so yeah with that being said let's get this beautiful car out of its box i don't know if there's like a, a bigger packaging of the formula e car all i know is that they had the smaller one that, that's all i know so yeah all right one sec I'm trying to get this out real quick I'll make sure to, I guess it's a ruined. All right, it's the least I can do. Did I get it? So far, yes. So far, yes. Yep, here we go. Here we are. The moment we've been waiting for is the 2024 Formula E Gen 3. I believe they started racing these cars back in 2023, and this, um, let's just say this car is a mixed bag in terms of looks. I'll get into more about that later on. So yeah, with that being said, let's review this car while Mia wants attention. I can't do, I can't multitask. I only got two arms, two hands, so yeah. All right, so here we got um, the E logo. Yeah, not a lot to review, of course, since it's just a generic blank Gen 3 Formula E car. Um, it's out of focus. All right, so you got ABB Formula E FIA World Championship. You got the E logo once again. Same side as the left. Uh, you got the diffusers. You got the taillights. You got the rear wing. You also got yourself the, the shark fin, the halo. You got the front wing. I meant rear wing. Did I say rear wing or front wing? <laughs> Sorry, she's looking at me. Um, so on the front wing, you got like two kinds of front wings. One wing plate, uh, the, the, the wing plate holding on to the, the bottom front wing and the top front wing. Um, you got the, um, you got the details of a Formula driver in the car with the steering wheel. You know, that's just Hot Wheels and the typical detailing for a dollar nineteen car. So yeah, not a lot going on. I don't know if we're gonna see some more Formula E cars. I know like the when the Gen Two was around, they had the ABB Formula E series car, the blue one. They had the purple version. They had the Porsche version, the DS automobiles uh, or dragon speed automobiles racing from john everton's uh car that's all i know that they made and now they made the gen 3 cars so i'm gonna assume that in the future we're gonna get like a couple of more formula e cars that's all i know i don't know which one's from a team so yeah i, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a mclaren or something like that um so yeah so what do i think about the formula e gen 3 cars I mean, when it was first revealed, I don't know. Obviously, it was different, but kind of weird, honestly. It's not as weird as I, as I thought it is, because I know, like, there's, like, the, the opinions were mixed bag, very opinionated. 
and honestly the gen 2 design is my favorite so far in my opinion i'm not saying the, the i'm not saying the gen 3 uh, design is terrible but it's a weird it's a weird kind of car because it looks more um uh jet looking uh car than an actual open wheel electric race car that's just me but i'm sure in the future we're gonna get better designs we're gonna get bad designs in the future of formula e that's just how it is but either way as a die guess it is cool it is cool i'll give it that if you see this in your retail stores oh my god y'all better go get it obviously i don't know how long it's gonna take to be on show but all i can say is go get it as soon as you see it if you're a racing fan formula e fan that's all i can say it is a cool car happy to have this in my collection as usual so yeah must have i do recommend it and looks like that's gonna do it for another diecast review thank y'all so much for watching this diecast review i know i'm late to review this uh you know life and all that well life and work and all that stuff I'm trying to find time to do these uh videos um so thank y'all so much for watching this is the impress 1227 signing off goodbye everybody